Now we will discuss about the other modification of deep fascia of the palmar aspect of the hand. In previous lecture you have seen this is modification of deep fascia. This is flexor reticulum. Now we will discuss about the detail of the another modification that is palmar aponeurosis. This is palmar aponeurosis. Morphologically, this palmar aponeurosis is flattened tendon of palmaris longus. It is degenerated. It is morphologically, it is degenerated part of the palmaris longus muscle. It is triangular in shape. It has apex which is attached with the flexor retinaculum. So this is flexor retinaculum which is attached with the flexor retinaculum. It has base which extends at level of head of metacarpals. First, second, third, fourth metacarpals. This base it gives four slips these are four slips arise from base and these four slips again divided into two slips like this. It contains longitudinal fibers. These are longitudinal fibers and also transverse fibers. These are transverse fibers. It has apex, it has base. Base gives four slips. These four slips again divide into two slips are each digits and these two slips merge with fibrous digital sheet. This is fibrous digital sheet, fibrous fracture digital sheet. So it, it merges here fibrous fracture sheet and also it merges with deeply deep transverse metatarsal ligament, deep transverse metatarsal ligament. And it also gives fibers to metacarpophalangeal joint, capsule of the metacarpophalangeal joint, capsule of the metacarpophalangeal joint. It has lateral border, it has medial border. This medial border here, here it gives origin to a muscle This is palmaris brevis. This is palmaris brevis muscle, which takes origin from medial border of this. This is palmaris brevis. This is palmaris brevis. This muscle takes origin from flexor retinaculum and also from medial border of this. Palmar aponeurosis. Here it also gives extension which covers the hypothenar muscle. 
and laterally it also attach with fascia covering the thinner muscle. Here is thinner muscle, here is hypothenar muscle. Here is fascia which covers the thinner muscle. Here is fascia which covers the hypothenar muscle. Here fascia is, the fascia is thin. Here the fascia is thin. And centrally, this the fascia is thick, which forms the palmar epidermis. Laterally, this merge with thin fascia, covering this thinner muscle. And medially, it merge with fascia, covering the hypothenar muscle. Sometimes there is progressive fibrosis occurs in the medial side of this. Palmar epidermis, and mostly little finger is affected. This is known as debutrans contracture. In debutrans contracture, this portion become certain. Usually this portion becomes certain and these two fingers, mostly this ring finger affected and it become flex like this. And after this another muscle which become affected, uh, uh, another finger that is little finger. So first this affected then this affected. In case of contracture of this medial side of the palmar epidermis. This is known as depotrans contracture. Depotrans contracture. This is depotrans contracture. So this is all about the and the, sorry, another thing, one important thing, there is between these two slips, there is digital vessels and nerves passes. Digital vessels and nerves passes between two adjacent slips. This is digital vessels and nerves. Here digital vessels and nerve passes to digit. And another structure which passes here that is lumbricals. Lumbricals also passes from here. This is lumbricals. So these lumbricals, this gives passage, this space gives passage for the lumbricals and digital vessels and nerves. So this is all about the palmar epidermis. Thank you.